So for some reason, we still have some school districts um, that are requiring formal observations of educators at this time by administration. No clue why they're doing this, because the things that we would normally evaluate cannot be observed in an online, at-home atmosphere. So in order to be able to accommodate this craziness of districts still requiring this, I have come up with my own evaluation system um, uh, for the coronavirus teaching at home. Um, you can get one of three scores. The first one is a D. After your formal observation, you might be a D. That's distinguished. Great job. You are amazing. Uh, the next door, uh, score that you can get is an A. That stands for adequate. You know, you're just kind of in there. We got to work on some things. And the last score you can get um, is a, a, um, a GJD, and that stands for um, get a job at Domino's because you don't know what you're doing. So here's uh, um, how it works. It's divided into separate groups. And so our administrators are evaluating separate groups. The first one is um, special education, speech pass, school counselors, interventionists, anybody that's working with a large group of students trying to meet their individual needs. You're working with 10, 20, 30, 40 um, students trying to meet their individual needs. Um, uh, for you, distinguished, automatic, no observation needed because it's so very difficult. If you don't believe that, maybe you should step in and try to teach one of, that, um, of those groups of students. Distinguished, the next group is activity-based teachers. If uh, your instruction is based on activities, music, art, band, drama, PE, um, culinary arts, uh, drafting, uh, D, distinguished, automatically, no observation needed. Can you imagine trying to teach 150 band kids from your house? Automatic, no observation needed. The next is high school and middle school. If you are teaching um, uh, four, five, six different classes or a single day, either online or uh, uh, collecting paperwork, D, distinguished, no other observation needed because you are doing a great job. How stressful is that? Next one is primary. If you are um, preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, you're having to sing or a single day on the computer, or you're having to provide activities with puppets and all those kinds. D, distinguished, no other observation needed. Do you know how difficult that would be? We're just going to give you a D. The next one is the um, 7-Eleven teachers. Those are teachers who are dealing with kids 7 years old to 11 years old. And if you're one of them teachers, and you're trying to keep the attention span and provide activities to keep the attention span of them children who are already hard enough to keep their attention spans with D, distinguished, no observation needed. That's automatic. And then the last group is um, uh, if you are a parent. If you're an educator and you got kids at home, one, two, three, four, five kids, and you're trying to teach them kids, boom, distinguished. Because we are making accommodations for them parents by cutting back the um, schoolwork. We need to be making accommodations for teacher parents too. Distinguished. And you know what? This works for administrators too. If you're an administrator and you've never had any formal training whatsoever on how to lead your staff when they're teaching at home, D, distinguished, no other observation um, needed from central office. Now, the only person that's going to get this score um, of uh, uh, get a job at Domino's are the people that are requiring these observations. Do you know why? Because they have no idea what it's like to be an educator these days and they need to go get a job um, at, at Domino's. I call my new system the OES system. It's the Oprah evaluation system. You get her distinguished. You get her distinguished. You get her distinguished. Everybody should be getting distinguished.